decided to shake up the world of dating with a brand new and refreshing way to meet your perfect partner. All you need is a group of friends, some potential suitors, and most importantly, this bus. So as our boys and girls wait to board the bus, let's show you all how it works. This is Dating Blackjack, and it's up to the guys to call it. Each boy is paired up with one of our lucky girls, leaving two ladies waiting in reserve. When the bus stops, every boy has to choose. Do they stick and go on a date with the girl they've just met, or do they twist and shake it up to meet somebody new? With all our potential couples fully on board, it's time to let the top deck dating begin. Tom tries to woo the ladies with his own signature catchphrase. I wasn't full on. Very posh. Yeah. <laughs> very posh. Yeah. Very posh. Yeah. Very posh. Oh, very nice, very posh. Well, very posh. I'm not though. at all, but... Uh... <laughs> Yeah. Very good, Tom. Very good. And when I went upstairs, I sat with Tom. I'd already thought he was good looking because I could see his face in the monitors. What's my type? Okay. Um, other people describe it as edgy. I wouldn't say edgy because it's a horrible word. But I don't know, just a little bit different, I guess. Um, That's how people describe my music. You make music? Yeah, so I'm... That was such sorry. a nice way in, by the no, way. No, 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 just because as soon as you said it, I was like... It's funny you should say that because I make music. She's yeah. telling me about her, her singing career. Um, pretty much as soon as she could. I felt like it was more like we were on a friendly kind of level. Meanwhile, on the other side of the bus, lucky for Chloe, Jake has heaps to talk about. Literally, heaps. So there is a lot of Aussies here. Though, yeah, there's heaps. Heaps. Yeah. heaps. I love heaps. <laughs> is that a Aussie Heaps. Word? Like, I, have, I never hear it. And then, like, we had, like, my housemate, a couple of his, like, Aussie so friends stayed. So, did you hear heaps? Oh, I miss it. <laughs> no one says it. Heaps. It's great. I didn't great. realize it was different. Um, <laughs> it was heaps. Um, so, Jake's probably the one I'm, like, most attracted to, but probably just a little bit too quiet for the type of guys I like. As the last dates begin, Jake discusses his multi dimensional dream lady. What's your type? What's my type? One word, homely. Yeah. Good chat, like they know how to like, like chill with guys and stuff. Yeah. But then they know how to cook. You want like a little wifey? A little wifey, yeah. That's cute. I think when I started talking to Mel, it was just a lot more relaxed and it seemed a lot easier. Meanwhile, Edgy Tom has a very revealing story to tell Rachel. I was with my mum shopping. Okay. Yeah. About nine years old, ten years old, something like that. Yeah. And everyone was staring at me. On the TV screen, yeah. saw that my flies were undone with that hanging out. I don't think I've told anyone that ever. Please don't put that on the camera. Wherever the camera is, please don't put that on camera. By the sound of it, Tom, I think you've put enough on camera. And as the bus pulls into the final stop, it's decision time. This time, there's a twist. Now it's time for us to shake things up. Boys, would you like to go on a date with the girls or would you like to go on a date with your mates. If your answers tally, that's what you do. If they're different, you still go on the date. It's gonna be so awkward, I can't wait to watch it. One, two, three. Mate. Date. Oh my God, no. Awkward, that means Tom is taking Rachel on a date despite admitting he'd rather spend his time with Jake. Good luck with that one, guys. So, as the evening draws in, our two couples head off on their London adventures. Rachel was deceptively good at ping pong, which is a bit embarrassing because <laughs> we were getting pictures taken and I was getting slapped around the table. And then we had a bit of a chat outside, uh, a bit of a chill, and then mm -hmm. we decided to sort of go our separate ways yeah. <laughs> fairly soon. So we were meant to go and play vintage arcade games at this gaming bar. I'm not going to be mean. Think, what do you mean you're not going to be mean? <laughs> like, I'm not going to talk about the fact that, obviously, you invited your friends on our date. I didn't invite them. <laughs> they kind of invited themselves. But the big question is, did they fancy each other? I think I do a bit, yeah. I think there's there's something there, yeah. <laughs> I I didn't fancy him at all. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you dig the knife in there, it's cool. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there was a little bit of talk on the date about one of the other contestants. Yeah. I said that I thought that Jake fancied Rachel, and Rachel said that I kind of fancied Jake when I saw him on the monitors. Um, so I gave Rachel Jake's number. I've already wound him up about Rachel fancying him, though. So you've always, always got that option. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. But I'm happy if they want to be together, that's fine with me. <laughs> if, if he likes my out, I don't know. I don't see why we shouldn't see each other again. We'll see. <laughs> 
We'll see. Tom may not have found love, but Jake has heaps coming his way. Well, I didn't think we'd end up with a love triangle. So it's goodbye from London as the Tour de Moor rolls on to its next destination.